solve large intractable problems. It's a new venture altogether. Your brain is a wild horse there. Because remember, writing is not a team sport. You are not selling horse carriages when there are cars. I want to be known only as a trusted advisor. More like a tourist. Play to Potential Podcast. Moving to a to an adjacent theme, David. Um, a few days back, I was in conversation with uh, Jeffrey Pfeffer at Stanford, uh -huh. who, yes. who who talks about power. Yes. And one of one of the segments we spoke about was uh, warmth and competence. You know how leaders need to strike a balance. Uh, uh, you know, in 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 the way they signal warmth and competence in different uh, settings. And some of the stuff he says is, you know, if you you need to come across as competent first for you to really have the influence, and then you know, uh, for you to be able to get things done. And 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 I got a sense uh, he he talks about the notion of vulnerability being uh, often counterproductive if you're solving for power. Do you do you see a, um, a difference of opinion uh, in the way you look at the subject versus him, or is it? Is it just that uh, you're saying the same thing, but from different lenses? I think we're, we're somewhat different, but we, uh, I would nuance it differently. Mm -hmm. There are two types of vulnerability. <clears throat> One vulnerability raises questions about my core competence. Mm. So when I taught the le leadership class at Stanford, I said, if in the first day of class, I said, I actually don't know anything about leadership, but I was assigned this course. Mm. I would be crushed as they rushed out of the room, as they should. Mm. That's vulnerability, which raises questions about my confidence. There's also vulnerability about me as a human. Mm. I remember the time in which I was teaching that class. And um, my son had, was quite ill. And I went to class and I said, uh, I'm really going to try and be present. But I have to tell you, my son is ill and uh, I'm feeling distracted. But I'm really going to try to be here. Hmm. That raised all sorts of support, caring, and so on. I was showing my humanness. By the way, my saying that allowed me to be even more present. Mm. But that's a side effect. So I, I think what we're talking about is when we talk about vulnerability, what are we vulnerable about? The other thing is there's a difference between competence in having the answer and competence in finding the answer. Mm. And I think leaders who pretend they have the answer to everything lose credibility because it's too transparent. But I think the leader who says, we are going to be able to solve this, even though I don't have the answer now, but I have every confidence that we could solve this, is both more honest hmm. and more trust building. Hmm. So, uh, when, uh, when I go in as a consultant, I'm frequently asked by the client, the executive, have you faced this problem before? I'm not going to say, oh, I don't know anything about it. What I'm likely to say is I've solved things that are similar, and I'm sure we can figure this out. Hmm. Because what the client wants to know is that it's going to be solved. Hmm. And my trying to say, oh, I have the answer right away is false, and they'll see through it. Hmm. And hmm. I don't think Jeff makes those, those distinctions. Hmm. Got it. 